Well, it's the end of the, it's the end of it all. What? I know. Yeah. Uh, we all know there was supposed to be another video out this month, but I didn't have the time for it. So we got to talk about everything right now. And in, in the world of lacrosse, I know there's a lot of things, you know, going on behind the scenes and everything like that. But we, we got to talk about everything anyway. And let's start the PLL playoffs, man. I mean, uh, you weeded out the, the, the teams that really weren't supposed to be there, like the Chaos and the Atlas and maybe even the Whip Snakes. The semifinals were just absolute bloodbaths. I mean, we're talking, I don't know what in the world the Archers just decided to just, the Archers and the Dogs just said, we, 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 we got this. So they put the Cannons and the Red Woods out of their misery in those two games. And then the championship today probably was one of the best. I mean, my goodness. The physical game from both sides. You had guys stepping up that really had been stepping up for either side, you know. Um, and again, the Archers didn't have Connor Fields for pretty much the majority of the playoffs, you know, pretty much majority of September, and yet they win their first title, 15-14. Yeah, there was a little bit of a clock malfunction towards the end that I think, you know, a lot of people are still going to be upset about, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Michael Sowers makes a mistake towards the end as well that kind of messes things up for the dogs, and yeah, Brett Dobson, who really should have been the PL MVP, truly, you know, gets the championship MVP with the performance he had in the PLL championship. And I mean, the PLL home cities, they'll be announced sometime in November, I believe. Uh, we're going to wait till December to talk about those home cities and everything like that, or at least the late, or at least like late November to talk about everything as far as the PLL cities go. And yeah, the PLL is done. Now we just got to wait. Got to wait a little while now. So no more lacrosse until December. And speaking of, you know, no more lacrosse, the summer league you know, wrapped up the Mad Cup. Six Nations took care of New Westminster in five games, but they were all highly contested. Very tight games. New Westminster won game four, and Cody Jamison wins the MVP for Six Nations and for the Man Cup in general. Just that's Six Nations seventh title. And I gotta say, being 7 0 in the Man Cup is really good. Yeah, I know people are gonna say, oh, well, they added Dane Smith and everything like that. I mean, both these teams were stacked. You see how these games went. Yeah, the refs were a major problem in this series. And yes, streaming was also a major problem. You couldn't really get a stream that at all, really. I mean, the games cost, what, $20? At least U.S. dollars, anyway. So, like, per game. So, yeah. That was rough. So, it is what it is. Hopefully, next year, um, the MSL streams may come again because they streamed it in 2021. No, wait, not 2021, 2022. They streamed it to 2022, and I hope they stream it again for the 2024 Man Cup so that I can watch it. Uh, yeah. Really fun, really fun series for those that got to watch it, for those that forked up the money to watch it online, and for those that actually went, heard it was packed. Heard the house was packed in New Westminster. Heard the house was packed. And then in the NLL, the schedule will be released this coming Tuesday, so it'll be this Tuesday. We're not gonna wait that long to talk about everything. We gotta, we gotta finish this up now. Everything, you gotta wrap everything up now. So the schedule will be released on Tuesday. There's basically going to be no more East-West format. Everybody's gonna play each other once. Uh, sub games have been announced already, as far as teams' home openers and stuff like that. And we're just waiting for the December 1st face-off opener. Uh, a few key signings um, happened and some player stuff. Uh, Latrell Harris 
basically towards ACL. Uh, he's not going to play for Toronto this year. Blaze Reardon, big boy of Blaze. He's with Philly for two more years. Frank Shigliano, he's going to stay with Saskatchewan for a couple more years. Saskatchewan unveiled a new logo as well. Then the NLL draft, of course, happened, and Dyson Williams is the number one pick. So, yeah. Um, what a season, man. What a season. And... I mean, I don't think I expected all this. I don't think I expected this year to go the way it did with Notre Dame winning the men's championship. Don't think I expected that. I mean, it was to be expected. I, I mean, what, what did I say? Did I say Maryland, Virginia, Georgetown? You know, I said a combination of those three with the way things were going. But ultimately, it became the Duke, Notre Dame, you know, show with, of course, some surprises sneaking in. And then the NLL itself was pretty crazy, pretty crazy as far as playoffs go. Again, San Diego getting knocked out so early was probably the biggest surprise with Buffalo coming back when they get when they when they needed to, you know, and they and they got it done. You know, Buffalo got it done. And then PLL itself, I mean, strange season. The thirty-two second face-off clock, or rather, the thirty-two second shot clock off the face-off was probably the most difficult thing in it, you know, trying to, you know, navigate without ESP plus, you know, you know it was kind of hard for me um, a little bit because I just don't see the worth of paying for ESP plus, but it's fine. But the archers, man, they, they had been, they, the title had eluded the archers for so long. And I, again, I thought the dogs would, you know, really come close to repeating, and they almost did. They, again, they were one goal away from, you know, probably doing that. I mean, and then the man, and then the man, the Minto Cups, I don't think, you know, I didn't expect to even talk about those this year, but I ended up talking about, you know, both this year, and that was great. And, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about all the background noise. There's just a lot of background noise that I can't get rid of, but it's fine. Uh, man, what a season. We now wait until the 7th of the 1st. I'll come back to you sometime in late November, you know, talking about PL Home Cities, the full NLL schedule, which I presume the ESPN portion, the TSN portion, all that stuff will be out there, you know, and, you know, getting ready for the 2023-2024 season, you know, down the line. So, that being said, everybody, P-Boy Sports is going to shut it down for the night. And I'll, take, I'll see y'all later. See y'all on Tuesday. Talk college football. Take care. Have a good night. Um, yeah. What a season of lacrosse, man.